I'm very happy to be here with Corey Martin at Corey Martin Events. And uh, just a little backstory: Corey and I have been friends for many years, yeah. and uh, he has always been in the forefront of contributing and helping. And this time, he brought LA together to help people on the East Coast. Tell me a little bit about Hurricane Sandy, how you were affected by it, and why you decided to um, encourage your friends and all of the different business relationships to support you tonight at Christopher Guy's beautiful showroom. Yeah. Um, so I grew up there. Um, I was born in Toms River, New Jersey. I grew up in Long Beach Island, New Jersey, which um, Long Beach Island was 10 minutes from where the storm actually all came together. All three storms kind of converged, right? Uh, 10 minutes away, or 10 miles away, I should say, from, uh, from Long Beach Island. So my parents were heavily affected from it. Uh, my grandmother lives 30 minutes north of uh, where my family li or my parents live. So she was heavily affected by it. Um, I have a lot of relatives in Newark, New Jersey as well. Um, so they were obviously affected. They're, they're police officers and firefighters and they were heavily affected. Um, so I lived there until I was about 17, 18 years old. And then um, I wound up moving to New York City. And uh, as you know, the storm was so large, the magnitude was so massive that it didn't just affect New Jersey. Um, it affected New York, it affected Connecticut, it came up the coast and hit Virginia. Um, it was, yes. I mean, yeah, it was, it was a, all encompassing yeah. of the East Coast. Um, I'm from Maryland, and yeah. the Chesapeake Bay, which is the largest estuary on the East Coast, they were slammed in Baltimore, Maryland, they were yeah. slammed in Delaware, and yeah. it just went up the seaboard. Yeah. Sandy was a major devastation. Yeah. You showed us a video of yeah. how bad it was. Yeah. It was hit, uh, all the different buildings, all mm -hmm. the different structures, how bad it was hit. But all the boroughs in New York, yeah. they were also hit. Yeah. And um, I just, my heart kind of went out for you because you talked about something that was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. There was a restaurant that you and your family have yeah. been going to year after year. Yeah. and. That restaurant now is it's no gone, and, and and that's. I, I don't think people understand that, you know, all of these townships going up and down the East Coast, especially in New Jersey, um, they're 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 small, tight communities, and they're not commercialized. Like, yeah, granted, you have a couple of commercialized things, but you know, these are people that have had businesses there for forty and fifty years, and they're washed away. Now, what is the aftermath of that? Are people going to, at the age of 50, 16, 7 years old, going to restart that business? Who knows? Uh, nobody knows what it's going to be like. Uh, the devastation was so massive. I mean, you know, they, they, don't, they can't even get it started. The, the, the work can't even be started as far as recovery because they were just hit with a snowstorm yesterday. And millions of people still don't even have power. So they're living in conditions of 20 and 30 degree weather um, that's extremely wet, um, windy. So, I mean, and then they're dealing with the, still the water, and they're still dealing with the destruction, and they still have water. Wow. They can't even go down, a lot of people can't even go down to their first floor in their house because there's water down there. I have friends that live in Hoboken, you know, two foot of sewage in their entire apartment. I mean, she literally just walked in, walked out, and was like, that's it, I'm done. You know, and went and took off. And, 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 and that's, their, yeah. that's their homestead. This yeah. is where. Um, you grow up. This yeah. is where all of your family pictures are of you yeah. through the holidays. This is where, you know, your your bedroom, your your chair that you wrote your first letter at school. All yeah. those personal belongings yeah. are gone because of, of this storm and because of what you showed us in the video of entire homes underwater. Yeah. Uh, all the boats that were piled up, look like piled toys. up, yeah, they look I mean, like toy boats, all piled together, mm -hmm. just just compressed together. Mm -hmm. So. How can people get involved? Um, how can we send checks to help with the Red Cross? Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Is there a website? Yeah, I mean, I worked directly with the Red Cross on this, and, and they were really great to work with. And, you know, they, they pledged that, you know, 100% of these donations that, um, of tonight. And, you know, I want to make it very clear that everyone that came in tonight as a sponsor, whether it's Christopher Guy, or Getty Images, or Premier Ballet, or LA Party Rental, everyone came together for this really great night and they donated a hundred percent of everything you know so 
there's 100% of the gross is going to the American Red Cross tonight, you know, which is really nice. And um, we, we really want to help uh, th these victims over there. I mean, you know, just so you know, I mean, they're looking at $50 billion of damage. It, you know, the, the GDP of all of New Jersey is 30 million, or 30 billion. So New Jersey doesn't even have enough money to fix the damage. So I mean, this is this goes. This is a much bigger scale than just oh, let New Jersey just fix it, right. you know. And so we have to chip in. We have to come together right now. Um, and uh, the American Red Cross, uh, to me, um, my parents told me that they were there. They're, they're still helping people. Um, they need, what they really need is not just money, but also volunteers. Um, they're running out of volunteers. The damage was so massive that they just don't have enough people to kind of continue. The, the recovery. So, once again, Corey, thank you so much, and just the checklist of people to thank for this evening. Um, Joyce Chow, thank you so much. Wire and Getty Images and Film Magic, Jeff Vespa, from all of them, them over there that kind of uh, archive and try to historial, historialize, I don't know if that's a word, but <laughs> put into me. perspective <laughs> the history of things and, and how we were affected in this year, 2012. Thank you, Wire and Getty, for always doing that. Uh, in the film and TV world, and also when it has events of, of such magnitude. Mm -hmm. Thank you to your wonderful ballet service. The yeah, premier ballet. And, um, and then LA Party Rents. Yes, was, uh, I mean, glassware. They have, yeah, the I mean, just the back of the house kind <laughs> of stuff, the kitchen stuff. I mean, that's how we all eat, right? <laughs> and then the other thing that's so unique, yeah. um, Corey Martin's events. Uh, everyone at Corey Martin's events, his staff, they're wonderful. They were here tonight mm -hmm. because of this gentleman right here. and. Uh, there's such a, a great energy and camaraderie that you care. You're 3,000 miles away, and you brought together these folks here in L.A. to make them uh, know about this and to reach out to those back home. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, everyone, um, I'm going back for Thanksgiving. I know you're traveling back for Thanksgiving. Uh, this is going to be a very thankful Thanksgiving because my family's okay and your family's so, okay. So is mine. I mean, they're all living together right now. I know. My quarters right now. I, um, <laughs> my brother Domenico's wife is from New Jersey, and his uh, his mother, you know, they were hit by it as well. And so this year, it's going to be a different holiday than it was in the years past because. Uh, we were this close um, to losing so many things that are valuable to us. Mm. And also, if you're not here this evening, you can always donate either your time or money to the American Red Cross. Yes, yes you can Absolutely. donate your time and money to the American Red Cross. FEMA, you're wonderful. Thank you, FEMA. Yeah. But everyone, if we can all lend a hand, this would be great. Um, and a website is www.redcross.com. Yeah. American Red Cross. American Red Cross. American Red Cross. Com. Com. And just, that's exactly what everyone's doing tonight. I mean, there's no third party where it gets funneled to us and then to the American Red Cross. All checks tonight, whether it was a silent auction or just a donation, whatever it is, everything's being made out to the American Red Cross. So. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher Guy, wherever you are. Yes. He's in London. <laughs> oh, um, he's in the UK. Christopher, thank you. Your space really yeah. was the backdrop yeah. for all of this, and we had a beautiful projection. Yeah. Thank you for your great monitors so we could see what was going on. <laughs> and uh, all the best. Enjoy uh, Europe, and welcome back when you get back here to the States. Thank you.